Hi guys, and welcome back to another book haul. I know that it is probably too soon since the last one, and I haven't gotten through all of those books yet, but I just have no self-discipline. I wanted to share a couple of books because some of these books have been building up, and I have a bunch of books that were gifted to me, and then I have a bunch of books that I found at some of my secondhand bookstores that I really want to share. Let's get into these books. First of all, a couple of books that I have either already read or have been looking for for a long time. The first one is Robert Heinlein. Heinlein's Have Space Suit Will Travel. I know I've recommended this book before and I have actually already read it, but I haven't actually owned a copy of it, so I was able to find this book at the secondhand bookstore, so I'm really excited to finally own a copy. The next book is a book that I already have owned in a mass market paperback style, but I finally found it in a big version that I love, and that is The Number of the Beast by Robert Heinlein. Look at how big this book is. You know, it fits in my hands nice and big. It's way bigger than that mass market paperback. Plus, I found out that this book has illustrations in it. So it's an illustrated version of this book. And I am a big sucker when it comes to illustrated books. So I'm really excited to own this version. This book is probably gonna rocket up my TBR so I can check this book out soon. Then I have a big project coming soon about dystopias. So I went ahead and picked up, even though I have already read 1984 by George Orwell and Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I want to do something with these books. And so I wanted to own them so I could write in them. I don't really usually do rereads, but I wanted to go ahead and do that. And now I own copies and can write in them. I hope that doesn't make you cringe too much, but don't worry, I own them. I won't be getting rid of them. Then I picked up a couple of books that were on my 2023 list because I got to get to those books soon, right? The first book that I picked up was Octavia Butler's Dawn. Isn't this such a pretty cover? I can't wait to get to this book. I love Octavia Butler's stuff and I think this is one of her only series that I haven't read yet. So I'm really pumped to pick it up soon. Then I have from that list, Roger Zelanzi's Masterworks Lord of Light. This book is not just a sci-fi masterwork. It is a book that is supposedly a science fiction book based on a bunch of premises from, I think, Buddhism, which really intrigued me. I've heard a lot of really good things about this book, so I can't wait to check it out myself. And then, of course, I have promised China Mieville, and I eventually will own all of his books, but the very first one that I have been able to find so far is The City in the City. I do finally own this book now, so I will probably hopefully get to this one. I also heard about a couple of books from some other channels. The first one is Rachel from Shades of Orange had recommended Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. This book is supposed to be a really good, very complex space opera, and she has nothing but awesome things to say. So I'll link her video in the description down below, but I was really happy to find this book at one of my local bookshops. I was also able to pick up The Last Policeman. This is a book that I've had a couple of my non-science fiction friends recommend to me, which is a really intriguing idea because it is solidly science fiction. So I will definitely have to check out this book at some future point. Found a copy of Jack Campbell's Dauntless. And yes, I can read. I know this book says Lost Fleet, but Lost Fleet is the series title. It's not the title of this book. Book number one is called Dauntless. It's that little tiny text down below. Listen, I didn't get to design this cover. <laughs> this book is supposed to be a really fun space opera, kind of more of a palette cleanser, fun series. And as the Dresden Files series comes to a close for me, I'm gonna need another one. So I'm hoping this will be it. Friends and family know that I love books, so that tends to be what I get over the holidays. So the first one here is a book I've never heard of called Hollow World, and this book is written by Michael Sullivan. And it's interesting because I always associated Michael Sullivan with fantasy books. However, this is clearly a science fiction book. So I'm really intrigued to check this one out. I hope it's really up my alley. It's supposed to be a little bit of a time travel book. The back of the book says, the future is coming for some, sooner than others. Cool, I'm in, let's check it out. Then I got book number two of Slovene Nouvelle's 
Take Them to the Stars series. This book is called Until the Last of Me. The first one in this series is called The History of What Comes Next, which is a very clever title. You might recommend Sylvain Nouvelle's name because of the book series that I recommend all the time. I think I have them back there somewhere. It starts with Sleeping Giants. So this one is more of an alternate history with aliens a little bit. And I really enjoyed the first one of this series. And so I'm really excited to check this one out and see if I like it just as much. Then another book from my list, which was gifted to me, and I'm so excited to start because it's one of my favorite authors, and that is Cameron Hurley's A Mirror Empire. This is a fantasy series, and it is on my 2023, and I got it. Yay! I am going to be able to start this one soon, but it is a chunker, so you'll have to give me some time because there are a lot of books to work through on my TBR, but it is on my 2023 list, so I will have to get to it this year. Then I was gifted a really interesting little book called The Employees, and it's by Olga Raven. I'm not exactly sure how to say this. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny little book that is supposed to be a really interesting futuristic book on a spaceship and they accidentally have something happen and nobody is really sure what to happen. So you kind of have to piece it through, through the book. And what's really interesting about it is it's definitely not told in chronological order. And a lot of the chapters are very, very small. Like they don't even take a whole page. So you're kind of piecing this together as you go through this whole book. And I can't wait to get to this because it's not gonna take tons of time, but it looks like really intriguing. I had never heard of this until I was given it. So I'm really excited to check this one out. Then is a author that I have always asked and wanted to read but never actually owned any of the stories, and that is John Ringo. This book is called There Will Be Dragons, but don't worry, it is science fiction. Not that there's anything wrong with fantasy. No, not at all. This book does take place in space, and I have always wanted to check out some of John Ringo's stuff, but I've just never had the opportunity because I haven't ever owned or knew where to start. And one of my friends actually went out of her way to get me one of these books, and it is the first in a series. So even though this one is a little bit thick, I'm really excited to have this one around so when I have time, I can check it out. Then I got got the book, The Black Company by Glenn Cook. This is one of those tour central books that I love and it isn't very thick, but this is supposed to be one of the original fantasy grimdark books. I'm really excited to check out and see how fantasy grimdark has changed from one of the first to the later books like Joe Abercrombie's stuff. So I do really like this one and I am really excited to check it out. I don't think it's going outside of my typical genres for this one. So good job. I'm excited. And last but not least, is a book that one of my friends and her husband got me, in which I promptly told them that this was a proposal gift and I had to turn them down. But of course I got to keep the book and that is my very favorite cover. This version of Dune has been one that I have been slobbering over since it first came out, but it's one that I really, really wanted to put on my shelf. Now I have already read the book Dune and 100% I understand if you're a little upset with me because I bought this book for the cover for sure. But, um, or I, I should say I asked for this book for the cover, but wow, I mean, it's so pretty inside and the colors and the print and the font and oh, this book is so pretty. Thank you so much for all of these gifts and I love you guys so much. That does it for my big book haul that I now have an even bigger TBR to get to. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Let me know in the comments down below if there's a book that I should start with. And until next time, see you later.